and I should have known that it was my blood sugar because I know what it feels like, but for some reason it didn't cross my mind. It was 47. That can be coma level. Hey guys, this is Sunday after my appointment on Friday. I'm not going to make this too long, um, but I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in, even though I'm still catching up on uploading blogs. I just wanted to quickly report um, about yesterday and today. One of the things that we did at the doctor's office on Friday was an infusion of IV vitamin C at a significantly high dose, although it's still the low dose of the high dose range. And we were told, you know, this could help a lot or it could cause a herx. Well, here's how everything went down. After the appointment, like I started feeling a headache during and I just started feeling not very well, like kind of weak and stuff. But then I started being a little better other than the headache by the time it was time to check out and get to the car. So when we were in the car, we thought, okay, it's just a few hours, you know, well, not a few hours, but it's five hours. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm unhooked from my feed sometimes for five hours at a time for different reasons, whether it's I'm not able to tolerate them on a certain day, or uh, like this case, we were on a trip, and it's really hard to deal with in the car, and they spill all the time, and I said, okay, let's just unhook for the ride home, and I'll hook back up once we're at home and get some for the day, and I've already, thankfully I had already gotten several hours in before the appointment, or a few hours at least. Well, one thing I did not know is that IV vitamin C can make your blood sugar plummet, especially if you are already hypoglycemic. So if I had kept my feeds running throughout and then also had them on the way home, what I'm about to tell you probably still would have happened, but maybe not to the degree it is. Um, so number one on the list is when we got home, I was feeling very shaky. I felt like I was drunk. Um, like I was just moving. I, I couldn't hardly, like I was falling everywhere. I was trying to move to unpack stuff and um, I finally just crashed onto the bed and fell asleep somehow. Um, and I was just so weak and it wasn't fatigue. It was, I, and I should have known that it was my blood sugar because I know what it feels like, but for some reason it didn't cross my mind. So I woke up at 444 and I had to immediately pull the trash can right beside the bed because I was vomiting up stomach contents and bile and that's all I had in me since I didn't have my feeds running. And um, then I tried to clean up some and went back to sleep. Woke up at literally 644 exactly two hours later and repeated the entire thing. Throughout this process I felt like I was going to pass out. I was just, I was a mess. And eventually when Roger was up and about that morning, um, we checked my blood sugar and it was 47. Let me repeat that. It was 47. That can be coma level for some people. I think my sugar has gotten down to 38 before, but other than that, my lowest was like 44, 47 and it had me in the ER. So I'm very thankful that that we were able to figure that out and get my feet started yesterday and thankfully it's stable now. Um, however, I am herxing majorly from the vitamin C. My joint pain has been constant and my doctor asked me, well, which joints? And I said, honestly, all of them that I can think of right now hurt. Um, my temperature sensitivity and my just my, my night sweats and everything my uh, muscle pain my headache my fatigue everything is just <sighs> herxine is just hard and we expected it we knew a herx could happen so i'm not complaining i'm not being like oh well, i knew this could happen but oh still poor pitiful me i'm herxine no i'm just letting you all know in case you try to do iv vitamin c ever that it is possible to induce a herx and there is a scientific reason behind it, but I'm not a scientist and I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm not going to try to explain it, but there are lots of scientific articles out there about it if you search. I've kind of felt like that the past couple of days, my head and neck and then my joint pain and just fatigue. I haven't been able to combo for this this week, and usually Roger and I do that either Saturday night or Sunday morning, and 
I don't know if you all can tell how overwhelmed I am because I'm crying or about trying to hold back tears. But Roger's out of town for Labor Day. He left Saturday morning. He's coming back tomorrow on Monday. He's up in West Virginia with um, that side of our family. And uh, it's his sister and slash my sister-in-law's 21st birthday. Actually, tomorrow is her birthday. So happy birthday, Oma. Of course, I can't travel on trips like that. And anytime Roger's not home, things get exponentially harder. I have two wonderful parents who go out of their way to do anything and everything they can just to help me. But there's so much stuff that is second nature to Roger because he's here and does it all the time. And when I'm feeling like I feel now, I'm not able to explain how to do X, Y, and Z to my mom or dad. So, like, I may be going a day and a half without meds because I can't do it myself right now. I don't have the energy to sit up and sort them. And I can't explain it to my parents. So... We just needed to plan better. We should have done it before he left on Saturday. And we didn't because I was feeling, you know, I couldn't move. Because every time I moved, I felt like I was going to throw up again before we learned that the low blood sugar was the reason. All this to say, vitamin C can cause herxes, but it also shows that we are, you know, things are being killed and my body is just having difficulty detoxing them out right now. We're rebuilding my immune system. You know, it's always harder when your primary caregiver is gone, but like I said, thankfully I have two wonderful parents in town and they're willing to do whatever they need to do. The problem is just that I'm not able to explain to them how to do it. So, it's not ideal when Roger's gone. But I'm glad he's able to go visit and celebrate family birthdays. They kind of have one family birthday for that side of the family because Roger... His mom, his stepdad, and his sister, they're all, um, birthdays are all within, like, a month, a month and a half of each other. Or two months, I guess, from the beginning of August to the end of October. So they kind of just do a birthday, a family birthday thing, Labor Day weekend, usually. Or, well, Roger, I think, started that last year. He suggested it, so now it's kind of a thing. But anyway, it's storming here, and I'm not going to make you guys watch me lie here and just cry because of pain. Um, but, you know, we do try to share both with you, so there's the pain and the herxine, which is very real. And then there's also the peace that we felt from the doctor's appointment that was very, also very real and still is very real. So we know we are going the right direction. I just think the trip, combined with the fact that it's been stormy the past few days, combined with the herx of the vitamin C, combined with the fact that we didn't know to watch for the low blood sugar, all of that just kind of created a perfect storm to just kind of lay me flat. But I still know that we're on the right road and it takes a while to get there, but healing is going to happen at least to some degree. And we'll be happy with whatever that degree is because that's what will be meant to have happened. That made no sense, but it meant that's what God... That, that's what would have been God's plan. Of course, we hope for complete healing, but if that's not his plan, we'll figure out a way to live with it, and he is still good no matter what. And on that note, we'll say we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.